everyone. My name is Matt DiNapoli. I am a developer advocate with the Cisco DevNet program, and I focus mainly on Cisco Meraki. Hello, Snackers. My name is Kareem Iskander. I am also part of the DevNet program, and my focus is Cisco DNA Center as a developer advocate. And welcome to episode three of DevNet Snack Minutes. If you don't know what DevNet Snack Minutes and you haven't seen any of our previous episodes, DevNet Snack Minute is our weekly 10-minute all things DevNet giving you a quick, fun way to learn about Cisco APIs, coding, and just some cool stuff that you want to know. All right, Matt, what are we talking about this week? Oh, Kareem, this is one of my favorite topics uh, this year, at least, which is DevNet certifications. What do you think about that? Excited, and it's just an amazing achievement for our entire organization and team to be able to release this, these certs. Are you certified? I am certified. We will get into that in a little bit, though, I, th I believe. Uh, the the thing that you know I think our snackers want to know or, or what are DevNet certs. So if you're not familiar, Cisco is well known for its certification program from our CCNA to our CCIE, and CCIE is one of the you know the the pinnacles of network engineer engineering and certifications. And we've added to all of those existing certifications the Cisco DevNet certs, and uh, those are eleven different certification exams that will allow you to certify in automation for enterprise networking, service provider, data center, collaboration, security, uh, DevNet Associate is the kind of baseline certification, and then DevNet Core is the professional level certification as well. So a number of different opportunities depending on where you're comfortable either as a developer or a network engineer to, to get involved. So that's that's kind of the 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 introduction to that, but, you know, Kareem, what are your thoughts on, on DevNet certifications? What I like about the DevNet certification and just, you know, looking at it is um, you look at your, the journey from a network engineer's perspective where, you know, you're, you're a CCNA certified all the way, like you mentioned to CCIE. What DevNet certification bring into the mix is that complementary to the network engineers that are looking to become you know, either DevOps or, you know, net DevOps or kind of like into the developer, dab their, you know, their their fingers into the the, the developer environment and, and coding uh, with a network engineering background. So if you look at it from a puzzle perspective, you have your, your CCNA and your dev associate, and they basically kind of complement each other to give you that entire journey and validation of what you've done. Um, and and I, think, I think what we've seen with, um, with our community and how much, they love becoming, you know, the first 500 of our DevNet certification, and uh, and just it's it's been great. Um, Matt, I, I kind of wanted to understand more. What do we do? Like, if you're looking to get a DevNet certification, what do we what do where do you start, and what do we have for for our snackers? Oh man, that is a big question. It's like, uh, what do we don't what don't we do? <laughs> um, exactly. We have. Uh, instructor-led courses on digital Cisco Digital Learning Library. We have uh, self-paced courses on Cisco Digital Learning Library. We have uh, the new uh, kind of lab environment in the DevNet Associate Fundamentals course, um, which is really cool. Uh, I, I actually use that in what we also have, which are study groups, uh, which are these guided uh, motions through all of the content materials that are covered in that DevNet Associate course, helping out with the labs, answering questions, providing supplementary uh, supplementary materials. There's just a number of different ways that you can get all of that information and, and, and start to get certified. And we have, so we only have the study groups for the associate right now, but we have some of those other digital pieces for all 11 courses, uh, or all 11 exams, I should say. So uh, just a myriad of ways that you can get certified or get the information to get certified can I, I i ask you are you certified and and in what i am certified i uh i'm working on my devnet core and my en automation right now but i'm devnet associate certified um i was lucky enough to get into the first 500 and i was uh, i was super excited about that what i found very beneficial and helped me are a couple of things right one, uh, before I even, you know, started with any of this, I wanted to see just kind of what the blueprint is for an associate. So I headed over to our developer.cisco.com uh, developer and checked out the, our DevNet um, cert site. 
and went and I looked through the the blueprints for that. And what's what I found really cool is the the kind of correlation between each blueprint topic um, to our DevNet Learning Labs, um, which helped me actually go get kind of an understanding of what's expected of me on the exam. Uh, the the DevNet Learning Labs I thought did a really good job at like just digging into the kind of like touching the surface on these blueprint print topics uh, from there. And then what I actually found very, very useful is our fundamental course. So I took that okay. fundamental course. I went through it. Uh, the, the fact that there is, uh, you know, a pit stop at every single section where I can go and test my knowledge of what I've learned was really cool. The content was spot on. You know, some of the stuff that I actually looked um, at for, uh, you know, looked, in, looked through in the fundamental course, I, I, I found to be on the exam itself, right? So I think it helped me tremendously in that. In that sense, and then you know the the study group. I I you know I joined your study group, and that that was awesome. You know, having you there. Well, you ran you ran kind of, one of your own too. Don't uh, be after so yours. Yeah, after yours exactly. Um, <laughs> but you know, kind of piggybacking off of your uh, what you've done, and so you know that was that was really helpful. It's just getting all of that together and and doing the hands on right. So we have the what I found really useful is. You know, I was able to dabble with the APIs because I had access to the DevNet sandbox. I was able to look at what is being explained to me because I had an environment developer environment and I can actually go in practice, look at what, you know, what's going on and what the API returns and what the documentation looks like. So all of that was available for me before I even like thought about signing up for a course. Right. So oh, cool. um, yeah. I, I, I thought this was, the you know, the, no, it was just like that kind of journey was pretty cool to have on DevNet. I, I actually I was able to earn my DevNet professional, and uh, that is uh, achieved by passing the core exam, the DevNet core exam, and one of the specialties that I mentioned earlier. So I, I passed the Enterprise Networking Automation exam as well. I actually did them back to back in this on a, on a rainy uh, Tuesday. So I took the core exam first, and that was two hours. It, it was pretty intensive. That exam is not uh, to be taken lightly. Uh, but, you know, with our course materials and all that stuff, I, I found it doable. And I passed actually uh, with with a lot of room to spare, which was nice. Um, and then uh, the enterprise networking one is uh, also set for two hours, I believe, but I, I think I got it done in about 90 minutes. So it was three and a half hours of, of taking exams that I haven't done. I haven't taken an exam uh, since 2011 in that kind of context. So how was the DevNet Associate exam, Kareem? So I thought the DevNet Associate exam was very fair. So okay. I, you know, after... I have I have a, a understanding of the APIs. I understand all of that. Obviously, we work with it. We work with the APIs every day. Um, it's you know part of our job. But if I look at it from a perspective of somebody just trying to get into DevNet and understand that, I thought it was a really fair exam. What I am, um, what's and and this is we talk about a lot about this with when we're doing running the study groups. There was no expectation for me to remember the API endpoints. For me to remember. You know, what is the Meraki organization endpoint? Because all of the questions that came through that came in that exam provided me with the documentation as a precursor to that question. So what I found useful is I needed to understand from an API perspective how to take the how to how to be able to read the documentation and understand how to formulate my API request, right? Like what is the method? What is so and you can't, you cannot pass that without pass the exam without knowing um, the APIs. You can read as documentation all day long, but if if you don't have the understanding, you won't be able to pass. And I thought that that was really fair. So it's more about um, applied knowledge rather than rote memorization for those kinds of things, right? Exactly, and that's exactly right. That alleviates a lot of concern that people have. I know going into those exams. Oh, totally. And, you know, I don't, I, I think we got the questions where do I need to memorize the documentation for, you know, this technology, that technology, the associate exam covers every single, almost every single Cisco technology that has an API, including yeah, your basic network knowledge. 
right? So it's it's kind of crazy to go in expecting to know all of this. You just have to have a basic understanding of the APIs and how they work and an understanding of the Cisco technology with maybe a little bit of understanding of Python and you should be golden. And DevNet has all of that covered for you. Um, but but thinking about that, Matt, what is the, from a, I know I haven't taken my core yet, but I've been preparing for it. How much of Python do I need to know? Like, so I passed my associate. Do I need to like be a Python guru? What What is the level of core? Can you, can you give us? I know you've been involved a lot with it. Yeah, so um, my recommendation would be to be comfortable writing scripts from scratch uh, for the core level. Uh, we don't necessarily need that for the associate level, but for the core, have that comfort level with being able to create something uh, that can run and will work and uses other libraries and all that stuff. You you certainly don't need to be an expert at that programming language to um, answer the questions that are on the exam that I recall. Uh, but you need to have a, an understanding to be able to read that code and understand what you need to kind of fill in the blanks for that kind of stuff. So uh, that's the kind of expectation that we set for people knowing a programming language. So Kareem, I hate to do this, but we're running out of time, man. Can you leave us with one final thought about DevNet certifications? Yes, one last thing. Head over to developer.cisco.com slash certification. Get certified before the end of the year and join the DevNet class of 2020. I Kareem, I love that as a final thought. Thank you so much. Uh, snackers, I hope you enjoyed this yummy snack and join us next week as we uh, check out something new and cool with DevNet.